The weather outside is frightful, but the soup I'm about to show you how to make is so delightful and it's gonna warm your soul. Time to make a sausage, white bean, and kale soup. Let's go. Sausage, white bean, and kale soup. Let's start cooking. First, we need some ground sausage. Plenty of white beans. We got some crushed, fire roasted tomatoes. Obviously, some onions, celery, and carrots, some peppers, some kale, some Parmesan cheese, all kinds of good stuff. Let's get into the pot so it simmers away. Let's start cooking. We have all of our mise en place, all of our ingredients ready to go. We got a couple hot sardel pans getting nice and hot. First, time to start browning the sausage. Nice hot pan, no oil. Non-oil pan so the fat and the meat start to caramelize immediately. While our sauce is browning, time to start sauteing our vegetables. Of course, we always start with our onions. Always like to give our onions a few minutes head start, then right in with the shaved garlic. Onions and garlic are nice and toasted. One teaspoon of Calabrian chili paste to spice up your life. Then right in with some celery and some diced carrots. Completes the mirepoix or the holy trinity. Our sausage is nice and caramelized. We give our sauce a big flip. Nice and caramelized, browning away. Vegetables roasting away, time to add some bell peppers. Our sausage is nice and brown. We're just gonna dump this into a pan, let it cool while we crumble it. Little trick, make it easier to clean that pan. Before you try and clean it, deglaze it. Deglaze it with a little bit of red or white wine. But more importantly, we get all those little flavor bits off the pan and get them into our soup. We deglazed our pan with a little bit of white wine. We're gonna put that right into the soup. See how clean that is? All that flavor is in the soup. To the base of our soup, fire roasted chopped tomatoes, chicken stock, and some canned rinsed white cannellini beans. Give that a stir. We're gonna crumble up that sausage and add it to the pot as well. We need a couple bay leaves from our new and improved spice drawer. Right there in alphabetical order. Two bay leaves is all you need. Drop them in. Just make sure you take them out before you serve the soup. We're gonna hand crumble that sausage and then throw it right into the pot. Just break it up with your hands. Nice and crumbled. How about that from the ASMR? And then right to the soup. Just season it with salt and pepper and let it simmer away. We're gonna bring this up to a simmer, put it on the back of the stove, let it cook for about an hour. Just make sure you stir it from the bottom every now and then so it doesn't stick and burn. We're gonna chop up lots of fresh kale to fold into our soup when it's finished. Our soup has been simmering away for about an hour. It is reducing nicely. You can see that line coming down in the pot. All right, our beans have naturally thickened up the soup. We are stirring it constantly to make sure it doesn't burn from the bottom. Now, we're gonna throw in a few bunches of rosemary. At the same time, we're gonna fish out our bay leaves. Right before you're getting ready to serve it, it's simmering, it's nice and thick. We'll pull out those rosemary stems. We got the flavor that we're looking for, but we're not looking to eat the stems of the rosemary. So all those herbs are out of there. Now, we're gonna add in lots of fresh chopped kale, which is gonna wilt down as it goes in. We're gonna let this kale break down, help thicken up the soup even more. Cook it for a few minutes. While that kale is cooking in the soup, we're gonna toast our Parmesan croutons and then serve it up. 
As our soup is simmering away, we're gonna make a few big, fat, rosemary parmesan croutons to serve with our soup. We are gonna drizzle them with a good amount of extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna season them with some black pepper, a little sprinkling of kosher salt, some nice Parmesan cheese. It's almost like garlic bread and some fresh rosemary. I'm gonna throw it right under the broiler until it gets nice and golden brown. It'll be perfect for mopping up all that soup. Like I was saying, the weather outside is frightful, but I just made the soup that is so delightful. So if you have no place to go, grab a bowl, grab a bowl, grab a bowl. So warming and oh so comforting. Big bowl of sausage, white bean, kale soup. We're gonna garnish it with one of these Parmesan rosemary croutons. A little bit of Parmesan cheese over the top. Talk about let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And of course, a little drizzle of olive oil. Happy holidays, everybody.